Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. My name is Ash. Uh, I think I said my intro backwards, but anyway, today we're finally going to be getting into drawing some more art. Um, I haven't really decided what I want to draw today. Um, I've just set up a blank canvas for now, um, but we might move around and, and do a couple different things. Um, but I just wanted to get into some more art, you know? Um, like recently I've been streaming um, <laughs> a lot of uh, Create and I think that's where most of my growth has come from but um, <laughs> I am still an artist and I do want to do some more art. Jarrett Art Stream, I guess that explains your name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my channel was uh, originally intended to be only art actually but um, I, I like Minecraft so I wanted to draw it as well. I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to draw today, but I've got um, Critter set up um, and my, my canvas all ready to go. And, um, you know, maybe let's, um, maybe let's look up a bit of like a character prompt or something like that. Uh, God, having my tablet in installed after so long. Um, <laughs> Is, is weird. I, I need to navigate through my three screens now because uh, my art tablet is also a screen. Um, it's overwhelming, kind of. Anyway, um, I don't know. Let's go for an art, uh, art character prompt generator just to like get us started off. Um, by the way, uh, for anyone that not... Uh, Harvey Perez, thank you for the... Subs wait, subscription? Oh, this, I think these are the YouTube subscriptions wait no is that a what kind of subscription is that I think, uh, yeah I think these are the YouTube subscriptions slowly waiting in um, god that's a okay wait is it one second Hello, hello, Rylan. Let me just uh, check some stuff out. Okay, so. God, does that, does this go through all of the YouTube subscriptions? I think, I think it does, right? It must. So, um, we'll just let that roll. Um, but yeah, to get us started off to for today like it says uh like there's a dollar sign there but uh <laughs> it's a youtube subscription not a twitch subscription yeah yeah no because we've got the growth on youtube is crazy we're at 800 subs there now so yeah people on twitch don't go thinking i'm i'm rich or anything now <laughs> it's definitely not that um but um just speaking of that what i was going to say is i have um launched a patreon um uh, for those of you interested, you can find the, um, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, link was up for a bit, but, um, at slash Ash live, uh, you can also find it in the YouTube, uh, description. I've put it there now. Um, and, uh, really is, is not much. It's just, um, for people that, you know, really want to support, support what I do. Um, do I have a discord? Yeah, I've, I've had a discord for a while. Um, the discord is free though. The discord is for everyone. Um, uh, it, the, the, yeah, the link for the Discord is, uh, on, in the YouTube. Yeah. The Discord's been up for a while. We've got, like, a hundred people in there now, actually. Um. I'd, I'd imagine most of them just joined to get the mod pack, though. Anyway, I'm just gonna look up a character design art prompt to get us started so we can actually do some drawing. Um. So, yeah, you know what? I'll just bring it down here. Um, so, um, let's get rid of, I think, these three and just, like, generate an idea and, and see what we got here. Uh, maybe later on I'll do some like suggestions or something. All right, so female, middle-aged, miserable, 
Energy Blast, Cyclops, cute, rough skin. That's um, very uh, <laughs> confusing. Leo, you gotta go soon? Yeah, yeah, I, um, you have school, right? Or something like that? I think you're talking about that in the Discord. Um, well, yeah, I uh, hope you have a good day and I maybe you can catch the VOD or something. But anyway, so... Middle-aged female is miserable. Energy blast. Contradicting prompts, yeah. Maybe we should generate another one. Maybe maybe I should just generate until I've got something that kind of comes out of me, right? So let's do a, do a couple. Oops, uh, that's not sent. One second. Like that, there we go. So, yeah, let's just go through a couple. Uh, female child that's diligent, holds a small mace, uh, stocky looking, so, and a peg leg, so it's like, um, a diligent pirate girl, yeah, yeah, we could do something like that, uh, that doesn't seem too bad, uh, or, uh, too hard to pull off, so, He's got a peg leg, so maybe she's like, um, she's like a pirate, right? So, we've got this, this, uh, young pirate girl, maybe she was born on the sea. And, um, you know, like, uh, she's, she's a hard worker. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, kind of, um, I don't know, get some kind of ideas here, so, we, we want, um, so we've, we want like, um, kind of like a stocky body, yeah, let me, um, try, try and get a bit of a head shape in here. I'm a bit out of practice, I haven't drawn for a couple weeks. Um, maybe, maybe a bit of a, a wider draw. Hmm. Um. Yeah, let's do something like this. Uh, so we've got um, a kind of up angle here, here, head here. Better, you better prove yourself now, otherwise you got to change your name to Ash of Create. Yeah, fair enough. Um, do a kind of uh, we we want like um, maybe a, a bit a bit of like a a snarky. I don't know. I mean, the snarky wasn't in the prompt, but like um, I kind of like feel, feel like doing something a bit snarky. Hmm. Um, I feel like I'm definitely drawing this at a bit of a weird angle, but uh, I'll, I'll worry a bit more about that in a second. Doesn't look very young, so maybe we um, pull in this channel lit. A little bit. Um. God, I do find art streams a lot harder to commentate over, which is, I don't know, maybe one thing that uh, dissuades me from doing them too often, um, even, even though that's what this channel this channel was originally supposed to be about. Um, hmm. 
Let's um, bring this forehead up a bit. A bit. And um, we want to have like the hair. I don't know what kind of hair we want to go for yet. Um, let's just like uh, try some some um, some bangs here or something, and <laughs> just. Um, I mean, this is a young character. Young characters is like having, uh, maybe ponytails, but since she's diligent, maybe having them a bit, um, uh, or, um, twin tails, but since she's diligent, maybe having them a bit lower will help with that vibe. This is, a, this is a bit of a weird, weird face, huh? One second. I'm just going to flip the canvas to see how off it is. Very. So, let me just uh, do something like that. <laughs> I always seem to be drawing on a weird angle. I, I can't escape the fate. Um, so, we want to make this chin a little more symmetrical. So yeah, I'm not the best at art. Uh, I'm still a beginner in, in many avenues. Um, but uh, I do like art. I've been drawing for a while. Usually it takes me a while though to get to a to a place where I'm, I'm happy with something I've drawn. Um, especially when I'm, I, I seem to always be drawing things at weird angles. Um, I don't know if I like this mouth. Maybe, um, maybe more of uh, a, a serious kind of frown, right? This looks kind of inquisitive though, right? With how the eyebrows raised, so maybe I'll lower it a little, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of just loosely following following the prompts. I just I wanted them to get, give me a bit of an idea about what I wanted to do. She says she's some. I don't, I don't care too much about following it super closely, but said she has a bit of a stocky body. So I'm I'm thinking that um, this chin will be narrower. Um, yeah, and then, and then we can have a pretty thick neck here. Oh, I'll take a swig of water. Anyway, we'll see. Um, I think this is a, a little more bearable of a, of a face for, for a start. We've got a bit of an up angle, uh, with the head tilt, but, oh. Uh, well, I mean, that's what I intended, so hopefully it comes across like that. I just found your channel two days ago. No, mm, nice. A lot of people have found my channel um the past week or so. Uh, not for, like, streams like this, like art, but for for the Minecraft content, but, you know. Um, I don't want to do, like, just Minecraft for, like, all my YouTube. That's not really, or wasn't really my intention, right? Um, it, it, like, you know. My, my intention when uh, starting YouTube and Twitch and stuff uh, was actually because I um, I wanted to promote uh, my art um, so that it would be easier to make a living off it um, because, you know, I, I don't really have uh, another avenue I can really go down in the current state of my life other than, you know, um, I don't know, working fast food or something, but I, I really am not too keen on an idea like that. 
So I'm just, I'm, you know, trying to struggle my way out of it, I guess. Um, so... It's kind of like a stocky body. Um, so it's pretty... Pretty wide, I guess. And, and squarish. But yeah, I don't I don't really um, expect much viewership on stuff like this, um, since you know, it, it's not why people are coming to my channel. But um, I'm I'm glad if uh, some people can enjoy it and uh, I enjoy it, which I think is probably the most important part. So. So, um, yeah, and, and it gives me a um, better reason to, like, practice my art and, um, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of using squares to, to build out the, the shape of this character, um, since, it, you know, it's supposed to be a stocky character. Um, but I don't want to make it like a large frame since um, she is supposed to be a child, right? So, um, you know, I got to keep it small, but maybe like I'll use the shape to kind of convey that, that stocky feel. Um, so maybe she'll be um, kind of like... Maybe if we can go and 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 uh, Lena to the side, she can kind of have um, a bit of a, a rest on the mace here that she is supposed to be wielding. Um, something like this. And this can be a uh, kind of hand connect over like uh, here. I don't know. Yeah, and we'll maybe um, detail this out, or we might just leave this in the sketching phase. I don't know. Um, I haven't I haven't really decided yet. Kind of just uh, playing with ideas. Um, the thumb would be on the inside here, right? Um, and we'll worry a bit about the hands later. Um... Maybe she's using the mace kind of like a walking stick to put pressure off this peg leg that she's supposed to have. Um... Uh, let's actually make this torso shorter. Finally managed to catch you mid-streams, time zones though. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes that is a bit rough. Hopefully today um, the stream will last quite a while though. Um, you know, it's... Uh, I streamed a bit early today, um, like uh, about maybe two or three hours earlier than I usually would. Um, uh, it, it's probably uh, maybe not the kind of stream <laughs> that you're expecting, but... Maybe, 
um, this leg is kind of like um, pushing back. I don't know. It's just got. It's just got I'm, I'm drawing a real short here because of this, like how she's supposed to be stocky. But maybe that's fine. <laughs> but I think she looks uh, more like a a dwarf or something than a um than a child like she's supposed to. Um, let's see, how can I? Maybe I need a bit more space. Let's um try and shrink this more, and we'll uh, change this arm a bit. Maybe. We'll worry about that after we've got these legs in place, though. So we'll have some, like, boots here or something, and then... Um, the boots can kind of, like... She's kind of, like, leaning, so... Binging through your create playthroughs in the background, figured I'd join a stream as well. Oh, nice. Well, I, I uh, hope um, you can enjoy it, despite it uh, not exactly being create-focused uh, or Minecraft-focused in general. Um, let's see. Shoot can be something like this. Um, I don't know, maybe these legs need a little more length. Um, this doesn't make sense either, so let's, um, uh, actually maybe just lower the mace. Yo, good morning from the Philippines. Good morning, John. How are you doing today? All right, since we're not playing a game, the BGM can actually uh, run through the whole stream. If it does get uh, too loud or annoying, um, I can uh, quiet it down or get rid of it. But um, I do like having a bit of a bit of music, since without it, it'll just be me talking, um, which might get a little awkward. I don't know. Um, I think we should it's supposed to be stocky, so. Thicken up that arm a little. I'm gonna have to redraw that entire hand, I reckon. Um, so let me just do something like uh, something like that and get some like oven mitt looking things <laughs> um, and then this leg probably uh, wants to be changed a little bit let me let me flip and see what I'm I'm doing weird here all right maybe I can just uh get away with a little cheeky stretch. Um... Maybe we can do something like this. And then we pull the the boot over like that. Kind of ditch the the diligent part, huh? So we got this uh, kind of stocky looking kid. Um, where should the other arm going? 
Oh, where should the other arm go, I suppose? Good morning from... Oh, I just rented the Philippines. Uh, it's probably actually pretty close in... Um, in time to uh, where I am, huh? Also still morning for me. Um, so what kind of, uh, shirt? We've kind of got these baggy pants here. Um, and like some like loose, uh, strings to tie it. Um, kind of like some swashbuckling pants. Cause I think we've pretty much decided that she's like on a pirate ship, right? Born on the sea. Um, maybe she'll have like, um, kind of a, um, a bit of a t-shirt with like a cuirass on top or something. So kind of, um, I don't know, <laughs> this kind of looks like a school uniform or something, with a, like a vest. Um, maybe we can change that up by like having some buttons or something. I don't know. Let me let me have a look at some reference. What are like pirate, pirate clothes? Pirate clothes. Um, kind of got like open, open vests. Uh, not really like t-shirts like this, but kind of v-necks and um, some like coats so you can have like a a bit of um, a bit of like some kind of coat here I guess um, Hmm, yeah, yeah, okay, and then maybe you have like a, a bit of a, like a, a collar that come comes out like that kind of uh, maybe ex accentuates that um, That kind of like uh, baggy largeness look of the clothes and Then we can have like um, This is kind of like a, a string sewed t-shirt um, and then we can have like I don't know some kind of thing on <laughs> kind of almost looks like a hoodie actually the way I've drawn it right now yeah I hope everyone's having a, uh, a nice morning I know um over in America things are things are pretty hectic a while ago but um, from what I've heard they seem to have calmed down which is good Hope everyone stands safe and stuff. You can have these collarbones in here. All right. I think this doesn't look too too horrible, but um. So what kind of um thing can this other arm be doing? And also we should like um, have some like big like rolled up sleeves or something like that. We, we want these these clothes to feel a little too large. You know, born at the sea, they didn't really have the right size, um, uh, and they haven't really made made land much since uh, since she was born or something like that. So so she's kind of the clothes are. Um, a bit thrown together and oversized and stuff like that. I think that's, that's a pretty cool kind of story we've got for this character. 
from Sweden, so I'll be so it'll soon be midnight. But yeah, good morning to you. Huh, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, I hope the colors look fine to you. My monitors are kind of all out of settings, so like how this looks, um, like the purple I'm using from my my Streamlabs preview is a lot lighter than the one I'm actually that it actually looks than in my program. So I hope um, there's still enough contrast for everyone to be able to see see well. Um, you know, what, maybe we'll just do something uh, pretty simple. Let's um have um the arm kind of like I I want to like be drawing more more arms so maybe um we'll we'll just have the arm on rather than in a pocket we'll just have it um kind of pressing into the vest um resting on that her, her hip or something i don't know it's just a sketch so i'm not gonna get too crazy with how the proportions Colors look fine. Doesn't seem too light. Good. Um, I'm not worried about the the color, as in like being too light or too dark. I'm I'm worried more about if there's enough contrast with the background that you can see. Um, because you know, yeah. doing an art art stream, it's kind of like a visual medium. You want people to be able to see what you're doing, right? Um. So, yeah, we've kind of got a bit of a stocky body here, and um, I don't know if I'm actually going to go in and detail these hands right now. It's kind of just sketching. Doesn't look light enough to blend into the background, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I could make it darker if I just set this to multiply, but, um, that's a bit too dark. I prefer, um, sketching in a bit of a light color, or like, not super light, but, um, light enough that it doesn't look too messy, um, like it would with, like, a black color sketch. Okay, so we've got kind of um this like I, I won't maybe maybe bring in the diligent a little more by just having the pants tuck into this peg leg and the boot over there. I can draw, but when it comes to drawing people or characters or humans, I just can't. Yeah, fair enough, man. Um, everyone's got their own stuff to draw. I've been trying to branch more into backgrounds um, recently with my drawing, actually, but uh, it's definitely not my strongest suit. Um, you know, uh, like, take some reference from Bob Ross or something does help a bit, though. Oh, I missed some comments. Um, Flippy Satin, hello, yes, my art is cool, thank you. Um, so yeah, so I think we, we kind of covered the prompts, right? Was there anything else here that I missed? Um, I, di I don't have too much of the diligence, but it's really hard to put a personality, uh, or too much personality in a drawing, especially when you got clashing themes like this. Um, Um, I mean, especially when it's diligent and you've got a peg leg, right? Um, sometimes it just doesn't doesn't feel like it 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 would fit, right? Um, maybe let's um think about maybe a bit of story for this character, right? So she was like um she was born on a pirate ship, yeah. 
born on a pirate ship um, uh, when she was like um, when she was like a or you know what no no I've got a better idea rather than being born on a pirate ship maybe she was born on a cruiser or or like a, a ferry out at sea um, and you know there was like a like a giant shark that attached the their cruise ship um, and uh, and it capsized and in and, and you know in that shark attack uh, um, she lost her leg um, but but she was like uh, while she was like floating at sea um, you know ho barely holding on to her life uh, a crew of, of pirates sailing by managed to pick her up and they they took her in to like scrub the the decks or something you know maybe maybe in a in a bit of pity um or or a, a bout of pity i suppose is the right way to term that hmm i kind of do like this um Maybe we can, like, set a bit of a scene, right? Um... So... I mean, this does seem like a bit of a character shot. We've got, like, a, a kind of Dutch angle going on here with, with the floor. Just because I can't draw straight for the life of me, so it's slanted. Um... And then maybe we'll have, like, um... Like, a mast in the in the foreground here um, yeah so like we've got a, a mast here and like this is the the, sh the ship deck um, and um, there's there'd be like another mast in in the background over here that kind of goes up Wait, this is not create. Yeah, I mean, I'm in. I'm, I do art. Yeah, so not all my streams are gonna be Minecraft. Um, I feel like most of them will be, since uh, Minecraft is just it's a lot easier to to stream. I think. Um, I don't need to be. I mean, I need to be in a mood, but it's. I think it's a lot easier to be in the mood for Minecraft than it is to be in the mood for um, uh, for drawing. You know, some sometimes like the just the inspiration's not hidden. So let's um add a like kind of maybe a bit of a, a curve to this perspective. Just give it give it some spice. Uh, maybe not this much of a curve. Maybe a bit a bit slider. Um, and then over here maybe we'll see a cross. There's a cross beam. Um. Kind of coming coming out, uh, and then we'll have a a sail, a sail attached. Um, and cool. I have the same application to draw, but I'm not able to use it. Maybe I can watch something useful. Critter, yeah, Critter's really uh, really really cool. Uh, program and it's free so um, so that's always good so we all have this is the kind of like sail canvas so let's add maybe a few folds and and try and, and get a bit of texture in it um, some cross hatching I don't know uh, and we want this like same kind of uh, wood wood texture right because we got these these stripped beams and something like that and I think I think this sets a pretty in like it's a decent scene um, even though the character itself is not in a super dynamic pose I mean Matt Matt if, if you've got questions about how to use the program I can use them I've been using Critter for a couple of years so I, I I mean I don't know every in and out of the program but I think I know most stuff um, Unless you mean that uh, you can't like run it on a laptop or something, or you can't use it because you don't have a tablet. Um, if if that's the case, then no, I'm not really sure how I'd be able to help you. But uh, 
Um, we can have kind of like uh, the ship railing that's going around here or something, and it's fading off into the distance, and I don't know. Uh, maybe so I can avoid drawing some <laughs> some more stuff in the background. I'll like put a bit of a hazy fog um, This is mostly a scene for a character shot, I guess not the most dynamic character shot, but um, Hmm Do I have enough here if I want to start um, what's it called if I want to start you know, inking? I don't know. Let's kind of like add a bit of that wood texture on the on the peg like that. And then this can be like a like a banded iron. Hmm. Um yeah. Let's really bring this this beam into the foreground with how with how uh, large I'm making it. Um, let's maybe calm down some of these uh, some of these markings, and then it would probably have some kind of like band tying it to the deck, yeah. So we'll sketch that in. All right. Um, this, is, this is like a decently cool scene, right? I'm gonna flip the canvas and see if uh, I how much I hate of it. Um, I think. Um. Okay, I think some of these, this, some of these eyes um, are a little weird. So let's, um, how do I, there we go, zoom in. Let's zoom into this face and see if we can adjust some stuff here. Um, now the angle of the f eye is a little weird. I want it to be kind of looking off to the side. Mm, no, no, no. Now this looks a little weird. A little dead. <laughs> Try it and avoid doing something like that. Um, I've made a like kind of like baggy eyes, huh? Um, let's see what I can do here to like maybe fix up how this looks. Drawing stuff that's like supposed to be symmetrical is always always a struggle. So we've got a ear here. Um, yeah. Um, how do I want to do this nose? We could do it a couple ways. Like, um, if she's looking this way, maybe the, the nose goes, go that way? No. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know. I always struggle with the noses that are like in the center of the face. I'm not used like have an angle on the face. Bit hard to say what I want to really do with it. Um, I feel like I don't know. I'm doing something with this face that is making me like it less and less, and I don't know exactly what it is yet. Maybe these bangs. Um, hmm. Maybe is the neck a little long? I'm not sure. Let's um, zoom out and have another look at this and maybe flip it again. I think I've, I've done something that I don't hate, but I have made this part of the face a little wide. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like I've like recently in my art I've been drawing a lot of like faces straight on and it and since I, it's, it's such a struggle to draw something symmetrical it's actually been hurting the art quite a lot but but hmm. um I kind of wanted to keep that kind of uh, wide cheek look so maybe I need to lower that back down. Um, maybe, maybe fatten up those cheeks a little. All right. Um, you know what? Okay. I'm going to lower the head and, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. I, I just, you know, if I, if I, um, worry about it forever it's like never gonna get anything done right so or I'd, I'd never get anything done if I if I fussed about everything forever and and if it looks bad when I'm when I'm finished um, then you know I can I can always like reflect on that in my future art so if I lower the head down it should look a little more stocky so let's um, and, and it's supposed to be pretty stocky. So let's see, how's that position feel? Why are the ears so long? Um, I don't think they are. Um, but like they're really rough right now. I don't think the ears are super long. Um, but we'll see. Um. But I usually, um, the, the size of ears is from the top of the eyes to the bottom of the nose. But since I've got a bit of an up angle, they are a little lower. Um, okay. Like this is like the ears shape ish, right? So I'm I'm going a little lower than from here to here because um 
Um, yeah. Oh, oh, did you mean, um, did you mean the twin tails you thought were ears? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully that gets cleared up later on. Yeah, but th th that's part of the hair. Maybe I didn't do the best job of conveying that. Um, but I, I kind of have the twin tail, they're pretty low tied, but they go up, um, a little. Maybe they go up too much. I don't know. Um... I don't know, maybe, maybe this is about fine, right? Um, I think this arm needs to be a little thicker. To match the other one. And I need to raise this elbow, kind of. Um... Because that, that, this part of the, one part of the arm is like way longer than the other. I don't know why, but I thought it was like an elf or something. No, 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 no. It was just a, just a human, human girl. Um. Yeah. So. Now if I flip. Okay, now the hair is bothering me up here. I don't want to flip too often, since if you flip too often, it can kind of, uh, it means you get used to both, both ways, which is, like, not what you want. Okay. Hmm, I think maybe this hair is, I think it's hog hogging the scalp a little too much. So what we should do is uh, maybe redo this part, so. Right, you don't want the hair to be like exactly hogging the scalp because that's some real tight pulled hair. Um, and it doesn't really look too natural, I don't think. Um, maybe I'm not doing what I'm saying right now, though. Um. Maybe we can kind of, like, I don't know, what am I gonna do here? I'll, like, pull up the, the sides of the hair. Kind of like this, I guess, maybe, for these, these bangs. No, they kind of look like dog ears now. Um, it's not really what I'm intending. Hmm. Um, maybe it's because I'm like trying to do this this weird like center part raised when if you if you're like even on the scalp it's kind of the opposite right so it should be like split at the center. Especially since it's like a, it's a twin tail design, right? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to fuss with this hair for a bit. Let me look up some, some reference. Twin tails. Twin tails. Where's my cursor? My mouse is there. Okay. Um, twin tails anime design hair okay how to uh 
different animes. Nice art. Hi from Russia, Farlands. Hello. Thank you for the compliments. Um, so, hmm. I think a lot of uh, twin tail hair seems seems to be like pretty similar to this. It's like, but those aren't low twin tails. Those are very high twin tails. Um, not many low twin tail designs. Okay, I found one. One second. Um, so I think one thing they've done is they've they've made it kind of rounder. Um, and, and it's like they've kind of like separated this, like this portion from the back of the head. But, um, since I'm going on a bit of an up angle, it's, it's kind of hard to tell where to draw the line, I guess. Especially like in my art style, I, I I use a lot of angles and stuff, so this kind of like curved curved look I'm not super used to. Um I don't know. Um, I had like a lash here, didn't I? I don't know, maybe that's that's good. Maybe that's good, maybe we can move on to inking. Or maybe it's good enough, I should say. Ah, oh, God. I, I always flip the canvas and it always makes me sad. Um, this part that's kind of like bothering me, right? All right. Um. Uh, it's like more like this. Sorry. Bit, uh, feeling a bit lethargic, I guess. My sleep schedule is, is still kind of uh, all over the place. Um. Like these, these uh, eyes don't really feel like centered on the head, do they? They're just like a touch off. Um, like not this hair, right? It feels kind of like it's um, it's all like leaning. I mean, I, I guess that applies to most of the things that I draw. They always feel like they're leaning. All right. You know, I think this is just, I'm just going to say um, to not fiddle with it too much more um, or the line quality. I don't need to fiddle with that since I'm going to be inking over this. So I'll just like um, lower the opacity and, and I guess start inking or something, right? I don't need to be too uh, fussy with it or anything. Um, so if I were to go... Maybe not quite black. Maybe um, this color, like a darker purple. And it's basically black, but 
Not quite. Um, so, uh, right, I think I want to change brush to the brush I usually use for inking, which is, I believe, this one, or is it this one? Um, I don't know if I can tell the difference, so I'm just going to say it's this one. I'll shrink the thing down a little, right? Brush size? No, I think that's eh, maybe down to like a five, right? And then we can go. Let's start with this chin line. Oop, uh, let's actually shrink that uh, eraser down. Hmm, since we kind of designed another character, I wonder if if I'd also want to put this in the, in the uh, in one of the comics I plan writing somehow. Since one of them is an adventure, like pretty much any kind of character fits. Hmm. All right. Um want to put more emphasis on this on this draw line so we'll just throw a few more lines on it I prefer to do that um, over like increasing the brush size I don't know it's just like a personal preference I guess Um, maybe have this less tapered. Yeah. Something like that. Oop. Yeah. Sorry if I'm I'm uh, not really um, talking much. I just. When I'm drawing, I kind of uh, get in a bit of a, a mood where I'm, I'm focusing. And so I, I don't really like if I if I commentate on too much, I feel like I lose my focus. So I don't really morning nerd. Hello, Dan. How you doing? Pretty good, yeah. I'm just uh, drawing. I was like doing some character generation prompts, and I came up with this uh, kind of pirate, pirate little girl. <laughs> um. Thank you for the compliments, QB. Nice to see you again. Six so. We've got kind of um, this look. Um, maybe I need like just a few. Like, I don't know something that indicate lashes, right? And then I think this one, this one kind of like signature lash needs to be a little longer to match the other side. Um, 
And then, kind of above this, we've got this this hair, right? So. And then, let's just kind of like put in some of the kind of shapes that we sketched out. Um. Hmm. Maybe this one can be kind of like that. Uh, Alright, and I don't know. I feel like we're mi missing like just a, a bit of a a bit of a bang there. Maybe, maybe lean into it like that with that one. I don't know. We might uh, adjust this this uh, hairline a little bit. I don't think I'm super happy with it right now. Oh, actually, we went down kind of like up down to here, right? And lower this a bit more. Um, okay, let me uh, zoom. You know, actually, let me, since I'm not using colors, let me um, get this overview here and uh, expand this bar out a little so it's a little bit larger. And I'll, I'll just use that to kind of um, see if my shapes are looking okay, my silhouettes looking okay. Um,. One thing I'm kind of feeling is, is that this chin is a little low. So I think what I might do is I might just uh, raise this up. Maybe even widen it a little. Sorry about the dogs in the background. Uh, they don't get along too well right now. We just, uh, my sister just bought up puppy. <laughs> Um, I think we all advised her not to since we're not sure she's like really ready to uh, take care of a, a pet like that, but couldn't dissuade her. So, uh, gotta live with her, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully they calm down soon. If they don't, I'll, I'll have to... Uh, <laughs> I'll have to go out there myself, but I think uh, other people are home so they can handle it. So there you go. We've got kind of ears here. Uh, maybe actually make them a bit smaller. Or, or rounder. Since this is supposed to be a child. You could always send the dog to Yule in China. <laughs> Not my decision to make. I do like the dog, it's cute. I just uh, don't think we should have got it. Um. All right. Let's see if I can get that this this ear anatomy just kind of the right way around. I think it's something like that. Uh, maybe this goes a little lower though. There we go. Don't need to get too detailed with it since it's a very small small thing. Um, this line here, and I 
Um, we want the eyebrows. Um, I'm not really the kind of person that does the whole eyebrows uh, are visible through the hair kind of thing, but I suppose I could if I wanted to. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to leave it like that, though. Like, the eyes seem to be like they're a little raised, but not super raised. Uh, maybe make that shallower and make this come down a bit more aggressive. I don't know, she kind of looks like a diligent kid. Eyebrow, I had. That's a. That's so lazy. Eyebrow, I hardly know her. <sighs> Dan, stop being lazy with your jokes. Um, this is not a good spot for that. Um, and we'll kind of, uh, do the actual twin tails coming from these, uh, I guess they're hair ties, right? I don't know. Crosshatch a bit in those. Um, yeah, we'll do the twin tails coming from those later. I think um, this this hair shape isn't horrible though. I feel like it could probably be better, but I don't think it's that bad. Definitely did put the the hair ties a little lower than they would be. Um, if she's a pirate, you can make her hair accessory look like a ship cable. I guess. Um, I'll, I might uh, think a bit more about that later, but. Um, I kind of already got this sketch down and I, I don't want to, like, th this is more of like an off-handed character design rather than something I'm, I'm thinking about super thoroughly. So let's, uh, it's kind of like, um, Make this a little mismatched, disorderly clothes. So let's uh, do something like that, and then maybe this part of the shirt goes lower than that one. And then maybe it's it's like a, it has to like bunch up to kind of um, to like fit where it is, right? Or maybe, maybe it's, I don't know. Um, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we won't try and do too much with that. We'll just have like this part pulled taut. Um, if she's a pirate, you could make, yeah, oh, so I already read that, okay. Um, do something like that, and, um, how do I do the other part? I don't know. Something like that. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, all right, and then maybe bring this down a bit like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll like, we'll stay a little sketchy. We don't need super clean lines for it to look good. I really love your create tutorial showcases. The mod is just so cool. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a great mod. 
Um, actually, earlier today I was watching, uh, there's a YouTuber called To Asgard who does uh, Minecraft stuff that recently, or in, in fact just today, started um, do, playing Valhelsia 3 and he plans to have a pretty big focus on Create, so... I recommend you check him out too. Um, although I'm, I'm sure like the kind of people that would find me would probably will definitely be able to find him when he starts actually doing the create stuff. He's uh, he's bigger than me, but I do like his content. What did you say his name was? Two Asgard. Um, with two A's uh, in the second part of Asgard. Um, maybe I should, like, stay a little less sketchy with my lines. Not too much less sketchy, but a little less, just to make my coloring life easier. Depending on how I plan to do it. And then... Alright. Um, I don't really like how I've got this kind of set up, so we need to add some, like, folds in here. Um, maybe we'll have, like, something pulling, pulling this way. Um, I don't know. Fabric folds are always hard. Like, I know the general principle of how they're supposed to go, but sometimes it just doesn't work out like that when you're trying to do them yourself. Um. Let's go. So I'd want, like, um... Something like, uh, you know what, I actually have a, a, a hand model reference that I got for Christmas. That I can probably use, like a wooden hand. So I'm gonna try and see if I can kind of like, pose this in a way that'll help me a little. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the most articulation. So I can it can only help me a little bit. Um, so we can do something like um, something like this, and and then have a bit of a separate gap. For the pinky here um, and I actually probably want to make these fingers like shorter since they look a little too long and elegant for a kid Um, is that a hand the right size? I think I've actually made it way too small now. So maybe I'm just gonna increase this back to or closer to the size I had it at before. But just a little bit stubbier. OK. 
Okay. And then, I don't know. Um, I don't think that's too bad. It was a hand, but. So it's a little weird. I got I want this this arm to at least like feel like the right width of an arm, right? So gotta be a little careful with my shapes. Um hands are always so difficult. Think, I think I'm getting better at them though. So, this thumb is kind of like um, a bit bent. Yeah, something like that. Um, maybe a little thinner. And we we need to increase like the the kind of um not knuckles here, but it's like bump on on the the fingers should be a little more aggressive. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think that's a hand I can at least be somewhat happy with. I might come back to it later and be um, absolutely astonished with how horrible I did it or something like that, but... Uh, but we can worry about that part later. Hmm. Okay. And then we want to do this other arm, right? Ugh. You know what? Um, so I don't get too lethargic. I am going to take a short break. Uh, go to the restroom and, and give everyone time to like drink some water or something. Um, so I will be right back.
Alrighty, I am back. Let's get back into doing some drawing. Sorry about the, uh, maybe a little bit low energy today. Um, yeah, nah, my, my sleep schedule is so out of whack. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I actually got a stream out somewhat on time today. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stop streaming anytime soon, so, so hopefully I can, I can get a bit of my, bit of my pizzazz back or something like that. Um, but anyway, zooming out, let's just take a good look to make sure we're not making any major mistakes. Um, the, the lean might feel, it, it, it feels like a bit of a mistake, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it too much, I don't think. Um, yeah, like the power vector of, of the... Uh, of this this mace uh, using it as a crutch is a little off but anyway let's just go um so we will have The hand kind of come around like this. And then we've also got the thumb come around. Um, like that. Ah. Oh. oh. Anyway. Uh, so, um, if we can maybe get this hand to look right. I don't know. That would be nice, though. But I, I did realize when I when I sketched this in, I kind of had like the elbow bending this way, coming forward a little. But then I had the angle. Had the hand was a little weird. So let's um kind of see um so we'd want like the hand to be somewhere like this and then we kind of have the the fingers um Kind of going towards the center. And then we can have this one and then like maybe the pinky is just kind of hidden behind. Um, behind there so we don't really see it. Um, and then we can kind of like fade out the, the, the grip at the end of the fingers like this. I think maybe it look, makes them look a little sharp. Um, maybe we'll want to like God, I don't, I don't really know what to talk about other than the art itself. I, I'd love to kind of uh, no brain the actual artwork a little more. Hmm, what can I talk about? Um, if you didn't hear at the beginning of the stream, I have I recently launched a Patreon. Um, which you don't really need to use, uh, or I, I, and I, I don't really expect people to use, but, you know, for the people that do enjoy my content and do want to support it, I figured it'd be better to have it there than not. God damn, these are some strong hands <laughs> she's stocky but she's still a child so I'm gonna thin those out a little yeah so so I hope uh, that didn't rub anyone the wrong way the fact that I've got that now the, the discord is still gonna be open to everyone um, you know, the only, only real difference is, um, 
uh, what's it called? Um, like a, a role that you can get from from becoming a patron um, which doesn't really it doesn't give you anything it's just a vanity and uh, no and and I, I put a tier there if people are real generous um, I figured I may as well uh, just do a commission for them if, if they're willing to, to say $20 um, if they're if they're willing to you know give that much god I, I hands I, I I need to be able to spend more time on these hands and not get impatient because be, it's because I'm getting impatient that they they look a little bad <laughs> Um, um, so let me just shorten these thumbs a little bit. I don't know. Just kind of figuring stuff out as we go. Just drawing, you know? Doesn't always have to be um, some grand artwork or anything. Doesn't always have to be perfect. Just got to enjoy the process, you know. Um. I think I'm going to be done with that hand, even if I'm not super happy with it. Just got to move on sometimes. Something like that. And I've got um these were like strings, right? Strings um that are acting as a bit of like a belt. Like that. And no pockets. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have some pockets. I don't know. They're kind of just like baggy, baggy pants. I don't know if I want to add. Um, like I want them to look kind of thrown together and shabby. So I don't know how much pockets would really fit in with that. I think tomorrow I, I will want to do another uh, Minecraft stream. Um, but you know, I gotta pace myself sometimes. Um, I don't have infinite willpower. In fact, it's probably one of my weakest areas. So um, I do get burnt out of things pretty early, um, pretty easily. And I really don't want to get burnt out with, uh, with Minecraft, especially not so soon after you know, people are finding it and, and enjoying it. So, yeah, I'll try and, and keep stuff going. Keep stuff going well. Been uh, given a lot of luck uh, recently with uh, channel growth. A lot of new people finding the channel through all of the, the Minecraft stuff. And I'm glad. I'm glad to see all the new people. Um, even if I don't expect most of them to, to stay once uh, I don't feel like doing as much Minecraft anymore.
Okay. And the brute's about a bit like that. Then we want to have this kind of um, like part that goes over it um, where the laces are attached, right? So you just gotta like put the points in and then go out in both directions from them. And then uh, right and, and it crosses over. So something like that. I think we've got it's pretty it's a pretty good boot, isn't it? I like it. Kind of got it pressed up against the, the floor here. Um, maybe have a, something like that. And, uh, like... Something like that. Just add, add a, like a, you know, a couple layers of depth. Um, yeah, we can kind of do something like that. Um, yeah, like that. Just get this. T next time, draw some of your create machines. Mm. You know, I, um, I'm not too good at drawing, um, what's it called? Uh, I've never really been the best at drawing, um, what uh, you call it uh, organic or no inorganic um, inorganic things like objects um, like despite me drawing in a very angular style right I like you know shapes like this a lot um, like a shape like this I'd still say is like um, I'd still use it as like something like a face right Um, so, so I use a lot of, uh, what's it called? Rigid shapes, but I don't use them for, uh, rigid objects. And I think, um, it makes it, uh, drawing, you know, kind of inanimate objects a little difficult because you can be, uh, it, you know, it feels like you can be a lot less flexible with the shape of different things and stuff like that. Critter gang, let's go. Hell yeah, man. Critter is great. We had something like this. Okay. Um, then we have this uh, kind of mace here. And it's kind of like, I want to have it actually a bit more this direction, facing outward slightly. And then we had a kind of shape like this actually. Um, and I think it would come to like a point. And then we've got the lines on the inside. So these are kind of like spikes coming out. So this would be the in, like the indent where it's kind of um, in the center. I don't know, maybe I don't draw that. 
or maybe I kind of like indicate it, use a bit more occlusion. And something like that, we'll have like a band here and a band here. Just to kind of uh, give that that shaft um, a little more, I don't know, just, just a little more to go off. And uh, I'm not going to worry too much about this this bulb here. I think this, is, this is actually probably a pretty accurate size for a mace. Maybe like the shaft would be longer on a on a real mace. Um, but as far as like the actual size of it, it's it's pretty small, which I think is pretty accurate, right? Um, so let's uh, go onto the twin tails now. So we kind of decided to like have them come out here and then let's let's have them go a bit shorter, right? Um, I don't know, something like this. And maybe have it like twirl around a bit. So it'd be something like that, I don't know. Um... Yeah. Wait. Um, it would actually it would be like uh, if I were to mirror it, it would be more like that. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I think that something like that's fine, right? They're kind of small, but um. I think it makes sense that our hair would be pretty short, so I'm not, so I'm not angry about it, or, or I don't really consider it that small, since she's supposed to be young. Maybe didn't have like, and then you know you don't want your hair too too long if you're a pirate, right? It'll get caught and stuff. So I think that's decent ink for that. Alright, then let's go to another layer and kind of sketch this background. Let's go for a bit of a bigger brush, like double the size, and really get this this feel in, right? So we've got um, this deck here, which I want to bump right up against against those feet. In fact, I I, I want it to overtake those feet a little bit. Um, so yeah, I kind of got some curves going on. I don't know, give it a bit of an interesting perspective, I guess. Um, I don't, maybe don't curve it down so much. One sec, let me increase the size of my eraser now that I'm working from a more distant distant place um, and then we'd have uh, we've got this mast here and we want it to have this band of like iron or something um, and we can kind of like put some wood textures in, in here. Or indicate some, no, not like draw them in fully. That'd be a bit, that'd be a bit much. I think you want them um, like 
more frequent close to the outer edge to kind of like indicate that uh that like corner or that rounded corner then there is like a mast or a, not a mast like a I don't know something back here there's like a what is it called like a gate not a gate a fence yeah I mean it's, that's probably not the the ship term I don't know I'm not too familiar um, with those kind of terms but Um, yeah, we can do this because it's on a separate layer. We can just erase, um, the stuff that is over here without disturbing any of the stuff we've drawn like that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm kind of trying to do this from a bit of a zoomed out view, um, just because it, it prevents you from being too fussy um, if you can't see everything like perfectly um, yeah so that, that's why I'm trying to not zoom in too much Okay, so then I can, we want to like tie it over here and we've got like the, the sails and the folds in the sails coming out like that and we can kind of um, indicate the rest of the color and then we'll have like a fog in the background so I don't have to figure out how a ship will look in this weird, weird perspective. Um, I don't know, maybe I want to like, if I get rid of the sketch, how does it look? Did I miss any lines? I mean, it looks like a, a lot more soulless, but that's to be expected since we don't have stuff in the eyes yet. Um, maybe I want to make the character slightly large. No, maybe not. This this head is kind of pretty close to that that um, third point. You uh, know, rule of thirds point. Um, it's like it's not in, in the right spot, but it's close enough that like this arm will lead you up to the face. Um. I don't know, maybe I want to do color next? Oh, one sec, let me... Do some, like, uh... Wood textures. Or something akin to it. Yeah, I think, I think that indicates it enough. And, like, over here. Like, I could do them in the color, but I don't really feel like it. So then, how do I want to color this? I don't really know yet, to be honest. Um, oh, created one layer extra, whoops. Okay, so... Let me um, get these two and go Control G put these in a line art layer and just so I've got them all together then over here I can start maybe painting or something let me get I've got this brush um, if I were to get a little larger is it too laggy no I think it's pretty fine right so let's go back to our color oh, actually you know what I'm gonna select like a, a paintbrush 
Maybe not that one. This is my usual paintbrush. I had a bit of a slow moment there though. Is it going to be fine? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, if I were to go and find the, like, a, let's, let's shrink this a bit since we don't need all that space right now. I mean, I, we may as well use it actually. Let's, let's get this color big. So, we want a bit of a brown, right? Maybe a reddish brown over here. Yeah. So yeah, let's like kind of paint this stuff in. Something like this. Um, I guess it, it doesn't really have to be too, um, like, in the edges, um, in, like, with the character, since, um, what's it called? I'll be doing the, the character's color on the above layer anyway. So I can kind of bring this color down and it helps with the texture a little bit. Okay. And then we can do kind of maybe in a bit of a smaller brush. These over here. And like maybe like uh, just indicate it like fading into the background. We'll do some something like that and then we want what else do we want um maybe let's go for a bit of like a dark brown and a more red brown and we'll just go oops i accidentally brought a ruler down and let's just go and like darken the edges a bit just texture this tree out render it a bit Okay, something like this, and then we can also like darken the edges there and there or something. if I want to go like one step bigger just get some like general shading over here and maybe like darken the, the corner as well give it a bit of a vignette feel okay and then let's go also this flooring but maybe we'll choose like a bit of a like a duller a duller brown for the floor let's um move over so that we don't have to like miss stuff um in fact why don't i go on like another layer just so I don't accidentally paint over anything I don't really want to. Um, and then we can go like... Um, got this bit of this grainy 
Oh, a green, green Eden. Like, weird. Brown. Um. Had a bit of, like, striation, but. Maybe we want to go back to the red area a bit and also get a bit darker on the on this like plank texture. And then we can just like chop off the edge with our eraser. All right. Um And then we'll also want to go like even like darker and or lighter in some places and kind of like bring it all all around like some, some like disordered planks. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's too red. I don't know. Let's try some lighter planks as well. Oops. Uh, control Z. There. I'm gonna like switch between some different colors and stuff and. All right. Um, like it's, it's no real work of art. I mean, I guess this is like literally a work, like art, but um, in the figurative sense, it's no work of art, but it's something. Um, we're just kind of trying to like indicate some planks here. Yeah, I said I'm not going to get too fussy about it, so I should hold myself back from getting fussy about it. Let's get a bit of a cream color for the um, canvas in the back. That can, this is going to be in this same layer since it's so far away from the floor that it's never going to affect it. Um, let's get like some... Let's get this out of the way. And then we can kind of like do some like crosses to kind of get this, this canvas texture. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. And let's even get like a little darker for like some of these like real close folds. All right. I don't know, something like this. Um, then we wanted like black banded iron over here or something like that, right? There we go. And we can get even like darker and like go. We want this kind of like modeled, 
cast look, right? So, or like, uh, do some like dots around, I guess. that I think is fine and background already looks pretty foggy uh, so maybe I'll leave it like that for now so we've got the um, let's go Georgie background color and then we'll have separate stuff for the character color and for the character color i don't know if i'm gonna use the same like painting um maybe i'll try it out i haven't really done this kind of painting for a character before let's go maybe a bit of a chestnut brown or a rosy brown for the hair color um maybe a bit not quite ginger. Hmm. I want to keep it distinct from the wood. Maybe this kind of, yeah, this kind of color. Um, hmm, actually, how do I feel about that? I'm not sure I, I'd feel great about it. Um, Maybe we've got this kind of uh, almost red. Yeah, I like that. Got a pirate with this shade of red hair. Now I'm wondering if I accidentally drew marine from Polo Live, but well, we already decided. So let's just stick with our choice. Um, so let's do something, oops, yeah, just like color these parts of the hair in, and, and like not be, not be too fancy with it. What if you added a steampunk team to it and then incorporate some of your create machines in the background? Just a thought. Look, um, I appreciate the suggestions, but, um, Create isn't my whole life, and I, I don't want it to be all my art either. Um, like it, it, it's, it's cool, sure, but like, you know, uh, I want to leave some level of separation. If, if I have everything be the same, then I'm, I'm just going to get more tired of the theme than, than enjoy it, right? So, so you know, got to have a more healthy balance. I'm not going to make everything... Uh, Everything I do, you know, just focused around the create mod in Minecraft. You know, I don't I don't wanna rely wholly on that one mod for my um you know, for my whole career, right? I just want to say your builds are amazing as well as your art. Thank you, man. Um, so we want to get maybe a bit of a darker color for the eyebrows. Uh, 
and the eyelashes. Um, let's zoom in actually and get a bit more precise with this. Oops, uh, let's shrink that down. You drawing a known character one you made up. Um, at the start of the stream, I just pulled up a prompt generator and just uh, kind of figured it out as I went. So I'd say, uh, yes, it's just a character I made up um, like two hours ago when I when I started the stream. We kind of decided that she's like, um, she's a pirate girl that got, uh, like, washed ashore from, oh, like, uh, sorry, um, am I a professional artist? I'm, I'm trying to be, I think. Um, right now it's, it's more, uh, a hobby, unless, unless what I'm doing right now on YouTube can be considered professional. I wouldn't consider myself a professional, not yet. Um. I can't make a living off it, and I think that's what qualifies it as professional. I think I'm not bad. Um, but yeah, I like I do. Um, maybe you should try to do videos on YouTube with art. I mean, this is a YouTube on uh, a video on YouTube with art. Um, and, uh, and I have done art streams before. I mean, I, I guess I could, uh, try and maybe condense the whole stream down into, like, a speed paint or something, but it's probably not a horrible idea. Uh, you have an idea for background music. Sorry, I, um... I only play like royalty free background music, so that's that's why it's kind of been this for a while. I can switch up the tracks a little if you're getting tired of it though. Um, I have two sets. Um, so if I were to do that and um, then Wait, wait, wait. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to mute that and then go for this one and unmute that. This music, yeah. It's 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 quiet. Um I don't want it to overpower my voice or anything. Yeah, but like I've just got some royalty free kind of tunes in the background. I, I'd listen to like music that I like. I, I can't listen to only the music I like because because <laughs> of uh, copyright and stuff like that. So I, I've like just got some stuff I've picked off like um, uh, the YouTube audio library. Oh, your Frenchman singing Sasagi it was a joke, yeah. No, I don't, I don't do, um, or I haven't done any of that kind of, uh, do I upload the stream after? Um, it automatically gets up uploaded to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it automatically gets uploaded to YouTube when I'm streaming onto YouTube, which I am. If you don't want to make money, it's usually okay. I mean, I guess I don't really want to make money through that, but... What am I drawing? I'm drawing a, um... Uh, a, a girl... Like a... A bit of a stubby girl pirate. <laughs> um, from a character generation prompt. I use copyrighted music on my streams, not my videos though. Yeah, the, th the thing is my streams are my videos, right? I'm a streamer, I don't really do uh, other videos 
or I haven't really done other videos. Um, let's get. Hi, uh, MaxDev. Um... Just, like, setting up some, uh, layers for... different, uh, colors, so that I don't have to... Add tags to the tag section, it'll allow more people to find your stream. I do have tags. Oh, I have Twitch tags. I don't know if I have uh tags on on youtube um does this character have deeper lore than a small prompt we kind of created the law and uh, I, I cut myself off earlier when i was talking about it but basically the idea is um this uh this girl she was like on a cruise um yeah i'm streaming on twitch as well yeah i i, I multi-stream um so this, this stream is, um, or this, uh, girl is, she was, like, on a cruise when she was, like, uh, younger. Uh, and, and that cruise ship got attacked by, like, a giant shark that capsized the, the entire boat. And, and also, like, her leg got, got, uh, clipped in, in the, the, uh, in the, in the tragedy, I guess, right? Um, and... Um, you know, like, as she was, like, struggling to survive in the water with, uh, one leg missing, um, she was, like, eventually picked up by a, uh, a pirate crew, which she currently lives in. A shark tooth necklace. I do like the idea, but, um, right now, like, she's probably, like, maybe 12 or something, so... Um, I, I don't know, maybe she hasn't quite gotten her revenge, but it's a goal, or something like that. I haven't thought of that too much. Um, I don't know, maybe if I were to write a story with this character, like, that can be the, the arc, right? When she has to fight, um, yeah, yeah, she's, she, you know, she's just a kid that was recently picked up. Starting to sound like an anime. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess... Uh, that is like the style, right? Let's go. Let's go like orange hair ties. I mean, I draw an anime style, so it can be like an anime. Oh, I was I was considering the idea like, oh, I could probably um put her as like an arc in my um. So it sound like the backstory of a D&D &D character? Kinda, yeah. Like, uh, she'd be like a swashbuckler rogue or something. Um. Not a horrible idea. Anyway, I was gonna get a skin tone. So. Uh, not super pale, maybe a bit sun-kissed. She's been working out, um, on the deck and stuff. Um, maybe be, like, maybe because of that she has, like, some freckles or something. Working out in the sun on the pirate ship. This skin might be a little pale still, but... I think it's fine. She'd be tan because of all the sun. Yeah, yeah. Um... Maybe a scar. I mean, she's missing a damn leg. I think that's, you know, um, I, I think that's a, enough of a scar, right? If she had a scar anywhere else, it, w it wouldn't make much sense, I don't think. Um...
But yeah, I did, uh, I'm, I'm kind of musing on the idea. I've got like a couple, like I've got an adventure, um, kind of comic, webcomic planned that I want to do in the future, uh, when I get a little faster at, um, growing. Considering that she just got to the ship. I, yeah, I, I don't think she just got to the ship, more like she's maybe, um, spent a kind of, like maybe a year or so, like swabbing the decks and stuff. Um, something like that. Um, you know, like, she's gotten adjusted to the pirate life, but, uh, since she's still a kid, she hasn't really got many achievements, right? They gave her this mace for, for protection, but she hasn't had many opportunities to use it yet. Good night, Karma Boy. Um, I think I need to change the angle on that arm a bit. I didn't quite do the line art going enough. So this one, yeah. Um, oops. Yeah, something like that. Just, uh, just kind of connect that up. Um, and then we can go back to this, whoops, layer. And do this again. Um, either her face tells us that she's really bored or something happened because of that frown. I mean, I consider it more of a neutral... I think of it as a more of a neutral face, but, um, mm. I mean, I mean, and, and like uh, something happened because of that frown. I mean, I guess something did happen, right? Uh, just living on a leg, but this is more of a, like a, just a character shot. Um, I haven't really put too much uh, thought into like the composition or anything. Um, just that like we've got the shot, right? We've we've got um, just something. We can change the mouth up um, if we want though. But I think she's probably a, a bit serious, maybe a bit jaded. So I don't I don't think like a smile would fit, right? Um, and I mean. I guess she probably would be bored, right? Just swabbing the decks all day. Just trying to rationalize this facial expression that I've given her since I can't change it anymore. Um, or I don't want to change it anymore. Um, let's go get like, uh, bit of a wood thing here. Get this peg leg colored. Um, something like that. She's bored because she's posing for him to draw him, yeah. Consider it a contemplative pose, thinking on stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of contemplative. Um, I can, I can see that angle. But again, yeah, I am like, I'm, I'm not putting too much thought into it right now. Um, Let's also do
I don't know, man. Pirates know what's up. Drink, be happy. Do chores, be happy. Kill the captain, be happy. Sink, be happy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to like stick a little bit to the character prompt in that she's like determined. And I feel like if I want to show that she's determined, I need to have her look a little more serious, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's definitely not coming across. Um. <laughs> but, uh, whatever. I think it's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's get this thing painted here. And go like... Now we got a bit of uh, texture there. Probably, it's probably a more than that and they saved the guild. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if the pirates, like, uh... I mean, I think they would have had, like, a, a momentary, like, moment of, like, pity. If, the, if they saw this girl alive and figured, uh, may as well make us swab the deck. I don't know how in invest maybe um after this time like she's become like a like a part of the crew so they are pretty in invested in her in her life you know she's like the the whole crew's daughter right I think that that'd be a kind of fun dynamic maybe All right, um, let's just do that and something like that. Uh, all right, so for this boot, um, I don't want to add too many colors. So let's um, take this kind of same brown and apply it, maybe a slightly different brown, but still like a similar brown and apply it to the shoe. I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about like really setting her into the scene. You can draw however you like, it's chat's duty to add as much to the story as you draw. Makes the drawing more interesting. <laughs> a crew of pirates that are all himbo dabs, dads. I kind of like that idea, yeah. Um, you know. But yeah, come up with I fun ideas. I love it. So I kind of got this silver in the... Um, What's it called? Kind of got this silver in the mace, so I should carry it over here. Um, yeah. Um. And then we can get this lighter gray and go. There we go. Um. Yeah. And then over here with the top of this shoe, maybe we take this orange color back and just like tune it that way a little um maybe actually no maybe just get a bit more of a sand um 
you know what? Maybe we'll take this color. The color theme doesn't have to be consistent. It has to be consistent. Oh, I want it to be consistent across the whole piece, not just one character, like the character in the shot, right? So I should also use colors that I've used in the rest of the piece. Um, let's get something like that. Um, maybe not that. Maybe go a bit more in this direction. The same sign, yeah. Try not to leave too many gaps in my coloring. Yeah, this is a, a very different coloring style than I usually do. This painting, or it's it's uh, very different to the um, the anime style or, or the character style I usually do. Um, like it's 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 kind of how I paint. I don't usually paint anime characters or anything. Or anime style characters. I mean characters in general. When I'm drawing a character, I'm drawing an anime style, so. Yeah, something like that. And then for this, we need to go and texture it too. Okay. Uh, let's even get a bit darker for that. It's very edges and uh, when it touches the what's it called the pants now for the pants what kind of color well let's um maybe move up to this jacket what layer are we on we're still on this layer yeah so let's kind of bring this this kind of brown into the jacket Make this brush a little bigger to make this go a little faster. And we can kind of get this shape in. Um, and we can go over the fingers and we can just erase inside of them since it's on a separate layer. Yeah. It's on a separate layer so we don't need to worry too much about coloring over the lines. So then we go here and now, yeah. yep, yeah. okay. Well, good night from Brazil. Yeah, I hope you have a nice night. To add to the point uh, that the crew at least cares for her is the decent clothes she has. She looks clean and not terribly skinny, meaning that uh, fed her and give her time to bathe. Yeah, I mean, like the the skin is clean right now because I haven't rendered it yet. But um, she's definitely not skinny, right? She's not malnourished. Um, and like even though the clothes are kind of thrown together, like they're, you know, too big for her, kind of baggy. They they still. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're good quality. Or oh, they look like, you know, pretty robust. I really like that word, robust. 
Um, let's go and take like maybe this brown and use that for the shirt. Um, let's actually do that on one layer lower so that I can kind of be a little rougher with my lines. I'm already very rough with, with my line or uh, my silhouettes, I guess. Don't like to fuss too much. Let's go something like this. And then we can also go darker and kind of uh, get this kind of look rendered out. There you go. Um, and like this shirt is like this right here. So I'll just continue it. All right, I wanted this to go a little lower. And then we can kind of get this rendering in. All right. And I think we want to go for this kind of uh, burlap color for this part of the jacket. Oops, like right there. Oops. Select the eraser by accident there. All right. Let's uh, try and zoom in a bit. So, like, I don't, I don't mind uh, going over the lines a little, but if I do it constantly, then it's just gonna mean more cleanup work for me. Now, uh, depending on how much I really want to clean up this artwork, probably not much. I'm surprised they even did line instead of just coloring in the sketch. I often, I often take that avenue. Um. So if we take this, let's go like there. This can also go like that. And where else would I want? Um, and then we can have kind of parts of this jacket a little darker. Uh-huh. All right, and then for this we wanna go like, um, like this, yeah. And just add a little bit of uh, texture or um, color variation to that um, that collar. What should we do for the pants color? Um, let's have a look. Let me have a look at more pirate clothes. Pirate clothes. Into Google Images. Take a sip of water. Um. Maybe we can take this this kind of rip. Oops, uh, this kind of maroon-ish, um, this maroonish color from the hair, 
And uh, let's go down to this, I guess, skin layer since it's pretty far from skin. Right, yeah. And we can probably go for a bit of a reddish pant color. Maybe a little more desaturated. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red pants, I think, fit pirate pretty well. Or, or this, this uh, kind of red. And it also doesn't really introduce a new color since it's basically the same brown as the hair. Just a little less saturation, right? And um, I also need to go here and fill that in. Don't want too many like gaps in the color. It'll look weird. Uh, maybe maybe it won't actually be a big deal, but so then we want to go and get like um, kind of this color. Whenever I uh, change the shadow, I try to also change the hue a little just to make the shadows look more interesting. So I moved it a little towards the pink. Pink's a great color. I really like using it with uh, with shading and stuff. Um, let's also like have like a white string, right? Um, but maybe, can I, I don't want to be quite that yellow. Maybe just lighten it a little. Uh, but I don't want the value to be that bad. So let's go like that. There we go. Um, now we can kind of go. And let's uh, kind of like get in some of these shapes for our, um, what's it called? Our pants here, yeah. What's the thing she uh, finished here? You miss holding? It's a mace. You can see here's the head of the mace over here. Since the prompt, uh, the the prompt that I used said that she should be holding a mace. Let's get a bit of highlight. Just touch a highlight. Uh, actually, let's change the hue towards more orange too. Mm, not quite like that. Maybe. Maybe like that or something. Okay. And I think I I need to make um this stuff darker. Because the value is too high. Alright. Um, oh, I have not saved. I should do that right now. <laughs> um, so this should go here, and it is, what's it called? What do we call this? Um, I don't know. Pirate. Go. Yeah, we can change the file name later. If we have, like, a name for her or something. I haven't really thought that far yet. Um... Let's do a bit of rendering on this hair then. So it's this layer. And then maybe a bit of rendering on the skin as well. So we want to go down and hue shift to more purple. And then we can... So, then we can also kind of, um, we want to go around the edges of the hair and also kind of, a bit of the tips of the hair. Mm. 
acá. It's probably just a walking stick for her. I can't see her reliably swinging that heavy weight against someone in a fight for surprise attacks, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably not. I mean, like, again, she's like 12. She's not... Right? I, I think it's more of an assurance for her rather than a weapon that she can legitimately use. Right? Um, so, like... And also, it doesn't need to be realistic, right? She can... You can have a lumbering it around without it being a bad idea in an in fiction um just because like it it you know suits the character or something like that and then it's fine um let me go and like q shift towards orange and highlight Colors I'm choosing here are very different to how I usually go for. Maybe it's because of the style that I'm, I'm painting in. I like extremely bright colors, super like poppy. So, so the, like drawing with this kind of painting style is it's like, I don't know, it feels, feels kind of weird. Maybe I should be doing something more like... Should be getting a little more stylized with it, right? Maybe I can go something like... Um, something like that. I don't know, maybe, maybe not exactly like that. Um, let's see what I can, can do something like this. I don't know. Maybe if we can re like reduce it back a little um, by like fading it more into the hair, so. Like, I like stuff that pops, but I don't know if it fits this art style, so maybe I reduce it a little there. Um, do something like where it's kind of like a bit of a... I don't know. Um, I don't know, something like that. And then we can kind of also do this the the hair here and then let's think about um let's get like a thinner brush let's kind of do some some more of this stuff kind of some more of this, uh, like, actually, like, not quite individual hairs, but kind of indicating them. Maybe do something like that. Um, yeah, and I think that kind of shapes out the hair pretty nicely. Got a bit more volume there. Um, but maybe I want to 
take this and like pull back some of the center parts. Like that. Yeah, I think I think that's not too bad. Um, not quite satisfied with how I've done this part, so I think I need to pull this stuff towards the center more. Um, and kind of fade it out a little more. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that hair for now. It, it almost looks like plastic though. I guess that's one issue. Is there anything I can do to fix that? Maybe just adding some like kind of strands, right? I think I might help it look a little more like it's actual hair and, and not like a blob of plastic on a head. Yeah. All right, so um, maybe I want to render this skin and then we'll move on to these eyes. So the skin was on this layer, yeah. Um, I'm not using clipping masks right now since I don't really, don't really care with this kind of style of, of art if I'm like clipping masks or not. Um, one second. All right, so uh, let me stretch my back a little. Um, so let's get this color and then let's bring it to the red a little more and a little more this way. And now we've kind of got our, um, like a bit of, uh, what's it called? Something for a complexion, right? Right, because this um, this layer is kind of at the bottom, I can kind of maybe no, no, I'm not gonna switch the brush because I remember once I watched like I think it was like a Proko video that was talking about how it's better to only use one brush. So maybe maybe it's a false equivalence, but I've kind of like equated that to like using a lot of brushes is bad practice, and it kind of um, discourages unity in your artwork. I don't want to give her like a blush. I just want to have a bit of, um, like a, what's it called? A bit of texture to the face, right? Or, or a bit of complexion, that's it. Okay. Um, it probably is enough, right? But I will go over here, select the normal and kind of like fade it out a little as well. And then we also kind of want a bit on the nose, since the noses are also like a bit flushed usually. And then, then we want to think more about the skin tone, right? So or like the shadows in the skin. So we'd want to go this direction and like that. Um, maybe even like more dramatic. Uh, maybe not quite that red. Maybe not quite that pink either. Maybe I need to go more down to saturated. Or well, not to saturated, but closer to black. I mean, yeah, I should actually. That's the, like, I want the color to be darker. So of course I should go that direction. Oops. Forgot. I can't exactly, um, the way I'm deciding to do this. I 
can't just erase the shadow portion. I need to paint back over it with the other parts of the face. Oops, I did it again. Okay. Something like that. Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think. How long would it take for me to change this into a speed paint? I'd need to download the video since I'm, I'm not recording it to my computer. I'd need to download the video off YouTube or Twitch somehow. And then... Cause I don't want to be like recording to a, another place. Like I don't want to tax my computer that much. I don't. I don't know. Like I could probably take it, but like my computer isn't the best in the world, so I don't know if I want it to take it. And I don't know if it had to run normal OBS at the same time. I think speed paints are a cool idea. I just um. I don't know if I have like the patience to render them. I guess that's really what it comes down to, is uh, I'm a bit lazy. You know, like these hands that I've drawn aren't the best, but they're definitely not the worst. Like, I think they taper a bit too much, especially this hand, but you know, I'm not like super unhappy with them either. Oops. There we go. Alright. Something like that, okay. I'm not really thinking about the lighting uh, too much. Maybe I should be, but um, kinda, like I kind of just, whenever I do lighting for a character, I kind of just go like a, whatever makes the character in the best light, that's where I'll put the shadows um, without paying too much attention to where they should be. Like I've kind of got it like, there's like light going these directions. Um, but like more from more from this direction, um, which probably doesn't make sense. There'd be masts or something in the way, but well, regardless. Um, you know, I'm I'm like I'm not unhappy with the style I've kind of gone gone for for this character. I think I think this kind of painted style looks pretty good. I, th I think I could spend a lot of time rendering if I really felt the need to. Um, let's go and try and do these eyes now. Let's uh, real zoom in for them. Um, so what kind of color eyes? I think maybe orange. I think orange, they match the hair ties kind of. Um, so it kind of is like really an accent color, right? I think orange is pretty decent. I think I'm, I'm not unhappy with that, yeah. And then what about amber? Amber could be good too. Maybe if I, 
Or I mean, maybe, yeah, if I uh, reduce the colors like in this direction more, make them slightly more yellow. I think that's, yeah, I like that. And we can dip a little into the orange fur, like the darker parts of the eyes. Sorry, dogs are being loud again. Um, so we can kind of have something like this. Um, and then we'd want to go like darker to the brown to get these kind of pupils or something. I don't know. Um, some reason I think this is kind of like making the eyes harder to be symmetrical but it's kind of uh, go with this bit of a brown orange and bring the rest a little darker Okay, and then we can maybe keep them a little simple, but not too simple, right? Um, so I think we're gonna want a bit of this this uh, dark red in. So let's really zoom in. So we want a bit of this dark red color reflecting, and then. We want kind of uh, maybe a bit of this yellow ish color reflecting as well. And then might be able to alternate between them or something. Mm, maybe that's too busy. Um, and then we can kind of have, we want the whites to be strong here, right? Maybe not this strong. Maybe I'll tune it back a little bit. Um, change the world, my final message, goodbye, okay, okay, Leno, sure, um, I don't know what that means, so I don't think I can comply, but, sure. Um, okay, something like this. Um, I might actually want to go is this and um, kind of erase the the lines we have going around the pupil because I like um, integrating them a bit more. So if we get rid of that. And then we can go back to, this is the, yeah, okay. And so let's grab this brown and go darker and redder. And let's kind of 
kind of um, use this instead as our our like border or the edge of our iris, I suppose. Okay, something like that. I think those are decent looking eyes, right? Um, and maybe I want to go and like fade the fade the darkness down a little more. Um, Okay, maybe even make this red a little brighter. Um, yeah, something like that. Um, looking from a distance, I do think the borders of these eyes should be kind of a bit, a bit thicker. But I need to thin it out here. Near the edges. Alright. Hi, I'm Russian Chill W Cat. I don't know if if that emote works or if, if it's just Streamlabs that means I can't see it, but welcome, welcome. I think those eyes are about at a place where I'd be happy with them. Um, they might even be like too rendered um, comparative to like a lot of the rest of it. I mean, it definitely makes you focus on it, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe we need to focus on more highlights. I don't know. I think we've kind of got the majority of them in. Um, so the, the rest would be like trying to go on this background color and get like this gray and uh, kind of deepen it in some areas. Get a bit of the fog here. Oops. In fact, we, you want the fog to like be lower, right? I think that kind of uh, creates this this foggy look, right? And then maybe I'll even go onto, was it this layer? And um, one more time. Oh, one more here. I'm sorry. <sighs> Not sure I understand what that means, but anyway. Um, now we want to go, I'm just going to bring out an airbrush because it makes this a little bit easier on me uh, and then I want to make the airbrush in eraser mode and kind of like uh, fade out some of these some of these lines um, 
um, so that like you get the feel that when something is coming into the foreground, it's like gaining more definition. Um, yeah, and it means I don't have to draw the back of the ship, which is nice. Ugh. I mean, I think we made decent decent work for what three hours. Pretty much, pretty much a finished piece. I'm not sure what kind of touches I could add to be like call it finish finished. Um, I think uh, it does mi like miss a little bit of life. I think what I've drawn here. Um, let me actually scroll in. Um, I, th I think there's a little bit of life missing, uh, like on the ship. Like I think there should be more pirates and stuff around, but I don't really know how to draw them in easily. Um, Like I could probably, I could try something, one sec. If I were to go on top of this layer, um, maybe let's just get um, like a bit of a silhouette. Um, over here in his like, Um, I don't know. I don't really have, uh, what's the, like, the roping and stuff around, but... Maybe I can... There's, like, a guy or something, and is And is walking... I'd need to, um... Erase this like background, right? We'll make it like just as dark. I don't think that would work actually, because of the filter and I've got on top of it. It's gonna make it lighter enough. Maybe he's like carrying a sack of something. Um, and then you can have, uh, I don't know, some guy, like, climbing a mast up here. Uh, maybe it'd be a bit smaller. So we've got kind of... Some some guy up here like climb climbing the mast or something. And we'll just have like silhouettes of of people rather than like um rather than really you know designing them just to give a bit more life to the to the ship. Have it so it's like it's not a ghost ship. There are people around. Um. We could do something like, um, whoops. Um, we want netting, right? So maybe I'll just do something like, I'll just like kind of indicate the netting and, and say like, oh yeah, he's climbing that, right? And then there'd be another led netting that goes like, like this is the wrong place for like netting, I'm pretty sure, but, um, or it's not the wrong place, but it's like the wrong orientation or, or like where it's connected is wrong. Um, however, 
I don't really care too much about that. Um, oops. Um, it's more just trying to get that kind of like like the the feel right of a of a ship. Um, something like that. Uh, and so that he doesn't look like a ghost, I should erase the, oops, erase the, the line art behind him. It's supposed to be actually there and not transparent. I just came back. What's changed? Um, you can you can see what's changed. I've like almost finished the piece. Um. Yeah, it might actually just be done. Um, I don't I don't know. Like, what else I really want to add? Um, like, there's stuff I could add, but I don't know what else I'd really want to add. I'll take a sip of water. Um, maybe, yeah, I'm like trying to think what can I do as like finishing kind of touches, I guess. Um,. Just, yeah, I'm just trying to like polish stuff a little bit. Hmm. What happens if I flip? Do I hate it? Um. Some stuff could definitely be better. Like, it's not that bad, but um, like the hair doesn't really fit on the head right. But uh, it's too rendered for me to fix it now, so I'm I'm just gonna live with that. Um. Yeah. So. I don't know. I guess I'll add my signature. Um, wait, I'll do like, uh, no. Uh, maybe. Maybe in white. Can't even get my own signature right. There we go. Um. Oh, right. I want this to be right on the top layer. Oops. Like that. Um, and let me organize some of these other layers, right? So this through to this is all character color um group character color there we go so if i turn that off that's all of the color on the character good and the background all the color on the background uh minus a bit of color that i accidentally put on the line art layer but it doesn't really matter um, yeah, I think, I think we've got a, we've got a character here. We've got our artwork. I'll probably, um, post this to my Twitter and DeviantArt later. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know. Do we want to draw something else today? I'm not sure. It's been three hours. We could, we could still move on though. Hmm. 
I'm thinking on it. Uh, you know what? I, I think I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I want to would want to do another full art, but we can we can uh, chill and, and talk for a bit if you guys want. Um, you know, like uh, how's everyone's day been? Um, I'm I'm hoping I can finally get my sleep schedule fixed today, and maybe the the stream is gonna be a bit more consistent. Um. Because, like, I'm, I'm like, I want to stream every day, but sometimes it's just, it doesn't work out like that, right? So, you know, that's kind of unfortunate, but um, what am I going to do? You need the sleep. So, I'm, I'm hoping that gets fixed up today. Um, and and I, I go to sleep maybe at uh, in eight hours or so, around 8 p.m. And then... You know, I, I can start off my day tomorrow real fresh. We'll probably play some Minecraft. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think, maybe I want to alternate days, Minecraft and drawing. Uh, so I can get a bit more into the drawing mood, right? One sec, let me save this, um, this artwork. I forgot about it. I forgot about saving. Yeah, wait, wait, there we go. Um, Yeah, so ho hopefully, hopefully we can have a bit more of a consistent schedule, right? I want, how do people feel about me playing other games as well, like um, besides Minecraft? Um, like I know everyone came to the channel for the create stuff, but um, it's not like uh, what do you do that made your sleep schedule wrecked? Um, I was just like staying up all night reading manga. Uh, I got caught up on on Kaguya Summer Lovers War, um, and that took like an entire night. Uh, <laughs> and like before I realized that it was already morning. So that's the most recent thing that fucked up my sleep schedule. Um, God, it was it was good though. I really enjoy that manga. It's great, great read focus has kind of shifted from its initial premise, but I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, I'm, so I'm trying to think, what other games could I play? Um, there's stuff like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I've i been kind of like, one of the kind of games I've been wanting to play for a while, it's like a visual novel actually. Um, just because uh, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to do the content and also I like, you know, I like doing voices. Um, I don't know, maybe it's not super apparent from, from how my streams usually go and how I usually speak. But I do actually like um, kind of acting and, and doing voices, so... Um, so yeah, I, I, I'll i definitely want to try some stuff out, right? Um, uh, I know there's, there's a game that my friend's been really wanting, to, wanting me to play called um, Val... Val Valhalla, um, and it's spelled like with ones and a dash or something, um, and it's like, uh, like predominantly like high-res pixel art, um, so I kind of be considering like a game like, uh, Valhalla might be cool, um, I haven't played, um, the Nonary series, like 999, uh, I wouldn't be able to voice act in that because I think they're fully voiced, but, um, I'd, I'd be willing to try that. I'm a big Danganronpa fan, and I like a lot like Uchikoshi's stuff as well. And I know the 999 uh, franchise is in a similar vein, um, so I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that. I've done a couple of Monster Train streams before, which is uh, it's like a roguelike or a roguelite. 
Um, it's a roguelike card game deck builder. Uh, that's a game I really enjoy. I've, I've done one stream on that before. Um, that's pretty fun. I also play like Slay the Spire and stuff. Um, those are the kind of games that I'd be able to do. I also, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, what do I want to do for like collabs in the future, right? Um, because I'm, I'm like, I, I do like the idea of doing collabs. I've, you know what? I've actually done uh, something like a collab uh, before. I was really into streaming. Um, I was like doing some line readings for another Twitch streamer um, called Starlish. Uh, me and her were playing. Um, uh, Dungan Rumpa. I I've already played it, but I liked doing some of the voices. Um, that was a pretty fun time. But she hasn't been able to stream recently, so... But I don't know. A collab series could be fun in the near future. I've got I've got some streamer friends, um, like... Uh, Azza Dazza is another small streamer. He's one of my close friends. Um, and, and Grumple. Grumple's another the streamer that's a close friend. I, I just, I'm not sure how my internet's able to handle, um, like, playing games online on a server as well as streaming. Because my internet's not too great, right? Um, I have, like, 40 Mbps, uh, so that's, like, what? Uh, on average, 2 megabytes a second. Not, not, not the greatest. Um, that's my, that's my download, I think. Um, like my, my uploads, obviously it's enough to stream at like, uh, what, 4,000, 4,000 ish bit rate, which I do. Um, but, but it's like, it's still, yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to handle online play and stuff. So we'll have to get a bit experimental with that in the future. Yeah. God, I don't really want to end the stream yet. I just don't know what to do, apart from talk. I don't know, maybe I should uh, change the... Sorry, bump the mic. Change the, the stream to like just chatting. One second. Um... Let's just change it to just chatting for a while and, and talk for a bit. One second. Can I update? Alright, stream category should have finished. We, we can leave, um, let's, let's lower the BGM a little. Yeah, so let's just uh, talk a while. We can we can look at we can look at the art that I've done. Let's um let's get uh, like an export of it. I don't really know what to talk about, you know. Though. Um, and talk about anime, I guess. Anime is something that I really like. Um. But I haven't been able to watch many seasonals recently, so... I don't know. I don't, I don't know uh, what, what's like... Oh, everything that's come out and, and what to try and keep up with. Um, I watched a bit of uh, Tonikaku... Um, Tonikaku Kawaii. Or Tonikawa or whatever it's called. That was a fun anime. Uh, or what I watched of it was fun. I haven't really finished it. I definitely need to see more. See, like, I, I know... Let me, like, check what what's, like, on Mal. What kind of stuff is, uh... Gonna come out in this winter 2021 20, season. Um... Oh, the second season of Dr. Stone is coming out. That's, that's a... 
That's a fun, that's a fun share. I'm like pretty much caught up with the manga on that one. Promise Neverland season two. I don't really care too much about that. I wasn't a fan of um, the anime of season one too much. I like the manga, but um, Attack on Titan isn't a show that I really watch. So these are all sequels. What aren't sequels? Sequels. Oh, Mushok Tensei is coming out. Mm, I definitely want to see how they how they handle that. If, if that one's done well or not. Um. It's, uh, I think it's about this, like, um, this guy down in his life. He gets isekai to another world as, like, a, as, like, a kid, um, kid prodigy, and it's, like, kind of about him trying to, uh, I guess, right his wrongs in his previous life and, and become a better person. It's actually, um, from what I read of it, it was surprisingly nuanced for an isekai. Horror Me is coming out. That's a that's that was a great manga. I read quite a bit of that one. Kumodeska Nanika. I've actually read a lot of the web novel of this and and some of the the manga. Uh, it's another isekai about a girl reborn as like a spider. And she has to like level up and evolve in this world, and it's pretty cool. Sorry, I, I sh maybe I should like let me um let me bring up the the stuff I'm looking at, right? Um, or act actually, I can I can do this better. I want it on my main screen. I'll just switch to my first episode of Kuma comes out tomorrow, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um. Let's see, what's the what's the date on it? Uh January eighth. That is um today for me, but um but that's uh JST, so probably in like uh nine nine ish hours it should come out, right? One sec, let me check the time again. Uh, about eight ish hours. What else is coming out next season? Ooh, where's my mouse cursor? Um, there we go. There it is. Um, what else is coming out? Oh, next season of Non Non Biori. I liked what I saw of the first season. Um, Renge is a cute character, but I don't I don't know too much about the rest of it. I don't know, like, I like some Slice of Life, but sometimes they can get a bit tiring to watch. Um, Sci-fi mystery, huh? Uh, Urasekai Picnic. Urasekai, Urasekai, what does that mean again? Um, something world, right? Uh, I can't read this kanji, so I don't know. Let me, let me, let me check it. Other, oh, other side picnic. Ura. So like uh, the other world? What does this kanji mean? Ura. Opposite side. Bottom. Hidden from view. It's like the secret world picnic. Kind of. Interesting. Kemono Jihen. When a series of animal bodies that run away after a single night begin appearing in a remote mountain village in Agami, a detective from Tokyo specializes in the cult is called to investigate. While working on the case, he befriends a strange boy who works in the field every day instead of going to school, shunned by his peers and nicknamed um, uh, Dorotabo. After a yokai that lives in the mud, he helps Inagami uncover the truth behind the killings eh I don't know this doesn't exactly seem like the kind of show that I'd like I guess it really depends on the staff right it's I Asia though I don't know what's this studio done before 
Oh, I did this was the Kakushigoto. Oh, and this is this is the um Honzuki studio. Well, actually, that's not a good thing. I love Honzuki. It's it's like one of my favorite isekai. Um, but God, the anime doesn't look great, right? Um, the story is real, real well written in my opinion, but it doesn't look great. So I don't know. That's not really a good look for Kimono Kimono Jihen. Skate. Um, by Bones. Bones has been doing some weird shit, huh? I guess about skating. Um, it's probably gonna look good. I don't know. I'll see what people say about it. I'm not really sure what kind of stuff I'm actually gonna watch. Um, probably just uh, like off off the like bat when the first episode comes out. The only one I think I really care about is Kumo Deska. I, I'm I don't know. I like anime, but I, last. Oh, whoops. Um, last few seasons haven't been that that exciting, right? Hmm. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna stretch. What's, um, maybe I should bring up up the artwork we did again. Let's um have a bit of a look about what we did and maybe what we could improve on. So let me Oh, I hope I don't have any bad files here. Let me just take it to another screen. Just in case. Um so art. God, I've got a lot in this folder. I need to categorize it better. So we did this pirate girl here. This is what we drew earlier. Um, I think I definitely, I, th this is definitely a problem I have. I like finishing stuff, right? So sometimes I can get a little lazy with the details, I think. Um, and I, I think this is definitely one of those where I did get pretty lazy, like these, these guys in the background and this net, like, it's there, right? But it, it, you know, I don't, it doesn't feel too cohesive with the rest of the, the art. Um, I think the background in general was kind of lazy. This is more just like a character shot. But like, the, the way I drew it, I like forced myself to go with this weird curved line here. Also, like, how I... This this pole doesn't match up with the ground, right? Um, but I forced myself to go for this weird curve so that, like, the angle that she's standing at would make sense. And I think that, was, that wasn't very smart of me. I should have um, focused on, on getting the pose down right. Also, I was, like, character designing as I was doing the artwork. And I think that's fine... If you don't plan to use a character a lot, but I don't know. She might be in need of a like a small bit of a redesign. Some elements changed. Um, like uh, one of my friends that came to the chat earlier was suggesting uh, using like a netting, like or, or like a like a net netting wire or something as like a hairpiece. Um, I don't dislike the idea. You could use it like as a hair clip that kind of like goes like over here. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Um, hmm. I definitely need to work on my folds a little. I think not all of them are bad, but over here, right? It's like very straight and like it probably shouldn't be. I think I needed like a fold coming down like here. Right, because of the shoulders, maybe. No, that doesn't really make sense either. I don't know. Um, maybe I should have, like, tucked the thing in more and have it had it flare out a lot so that I could put some wrinkles in the clothing there. I think it looks a little off. 
Oops, that didn't do what I thought it did. Well, this does give us a kind of different perspective on it, right? Sorry if this is a bit of vertigo. But if we see it upside down... Bro, I think it actually looks... If for some reason it looks better upside down, that's weird. I feel like the drawing makes more sense upside down. I think at this angle we can really see how I kind of unbalance this, this hair here on the face. I am pretty happy with how the eyes look though. I mean like I put more detail in them than you, than you can really see. Um, and if I went to the effort with the eyes as I did with the rest of like the line work I think the piece overall would look a lot better. I just didn't want to spend that much time on it I guess right? Mm. Well, anyway, I think maybe maybe I've uh, I've rambled enough. I should stop stalling. Oh, I've still got this. Oh, because I switched screen to my desktop, I've got this um this check mod pack in the Discord thing on the top of the screen. Oh well, I'll worry about that later. Um, most of the time I'm using this scene. I'm doing it when I'm looking at oh playing minecraft anyway so i guess it doesn't really matter right but anyway what i'm i was gonna say is i think i've uh dragged on long enough um let me switch the music back to the other bgm that i like better but isn't got as much variety wait no not that one uh this one bgm2 Come on, stop playing. Oh, it's not. Wait, BGM2 is on this screen. Hello? Oh, okay, there we go. Anyway, uh, I wanna thank everyone for uh, coming to the stream, watching me draw. I know it's, um for, for a lot of the people here, it's definitely not what you really uh, expected out of this channel, but I hope people enjoyed it re regardless and I don't know didn't like unsubscribe or something because they didn't like it I feel like that would kind of suck but um if it if it were to happen it would it's gonna happen um you know not everyone will have like the same idea of what this channel is gonna be as I do it was interesting I enjoyed it thanks man yeah I'm probably I'm, I'm gonna do art streams probably more frequently now now that um like the initial press of create is like kind of kind of uh is, I've, I've been been through it right um so like i'm still gonna be doing create i'm not gonna abandon the the minecraft world but um i'm gonna like pace myself a little bit more um so the create streams themselves will be a little slower and we'll maybe try some other stuff in between uh and kind of vary the content up a little bit um you know, uh, and, and maybe I'm being too general and, and like, I should like separate the, the, my, the YouTube channels or, or whatever into different ones. But, um, I don't know. That sounds like too much effort. So anyway, I, I hope, uh, the people that stick around, stick around for, for me and, and they like all the content that I'm putting out. That'd be nice. Um, I'll say again, I've got it right, um, right on the, on the screen, um, that my uh, Patreon is now live. I have created it. So if you really want to support my content, I'd very much appreciate you um, subscribing there. You can also just um, send a send a one-time donation if you want through Streamlabs. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's the the um, the link for that is in. Uh, like just I think I've got one in Twitch like just if you scroll down there's like a coin there and also in the description for the YouTube video um, you know I, I don't have to but I feel like I, I, I at least need to point it out because uh, I don't I don't have it I don't have a thing anything else to do in my life so uh, I hope that I can you know at least sustain myself a little bit through what I'm doing here. 
But, uh, you know, you don't have to. I'm still going to be making content even without it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a have a wonderful day and, and stay safe. And uh, I'll see you again uh, on another day.